A place steeped in history and often cloaked in mystery. We're talking the Oak Ridge National Lab. Most of us can only guess what's happening inside those buildings in Oak Ridge, but today we're going to show you. We got exclusive access and we're taking you along for the ride. This tunnel is usually buzzing with activity, radioactivity. But when the beam goes down here at ORNL's Spallation Neutron Source, things fall silent and still, and thankfully, safe. Otherwise, we couldn't be here. So while we're running beam, uh, there's a lot of radiation in this tunnel, so, so high power particles make a lot of neutrons. They also you know, make a lot of radioactivity. But the real goal here is to create neutrons. How does that work, you ask? Well, to put it in the simplest of terms, you send protons racing at the speed of light down an accelerator to a steel target filled with liquid mercury to produce neutrons. That process is called spallation. And these newly installed cryo modules here in this tunnel will only mean more power to create more neutrons. So what we're making for our neutron scientists is the most powerful proton beam in the world. So we're the world's uh, most powerful superconducting proton Linux. No one else in the world has this right now. No, there's similar facilities, but, but right now we lead in, in power and we're going to keep it that way. When the protons are coming through here, they're running at 90% the speed of light. And all of this, while it's shut down now, is usually running about 4,500 hours per year. I think of it some, somewhere as a combination between a microscope and an X-ray. You're looking at small things, you're looking inside of things. Um, and more neutrons just means you can see everything better. So maybe something that, you know, that is of interest. And one of those scientists doing the seeing is Asina Bilyeu, who's been at ORNL for more than two decades. She works on all sorts of experiments that can improve our everyday lives, from extending the life of lithium batteries to making 3D printing better. You can go inside and see if you see defects such, such, such as cracks or, you know, over problems that, that have appeared while you were 3D printing the object layer by layer. Now she has her sights set on the newest instrument under construction here, and she's already made her mark. I got to name Venus several years ago when it was just an idea in, in my head. All right, go for it. Venus will be the newest instrument here at SNS, set to open next summer. It will work differently than the other instruments, allowing scientists to get more information and even better images of bigger objects. And what Venus is designed to do is look at these objects, but instead of having a CAT scan of the object, we can look at the stresses. So we can start looking at the uh, properties of an object as it's being um, exposed to temperature or pressure and understand on the atom at the atomic level how the material is behaving. And while all of this science talk can fly a bit over most of our heads, loss monitor C10. these East Tennessee scientists managed to put it all into perspective for us. I mean, who gets to do this, right? This is such a cool job. This is who, who gets to come in and think about accelerated beams and particles and, 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 and these types of highly specialized technologies. So that's, that's a really cool thing about working here. Now again, the Spallation Neutron Source is shut down right now, but it is set to fire back up tomorrow. It takes about three weeks to ramp back up before scientists can get back to their experiments. Then it will operate for about two months before a year-long outage to finalize all of the accelerator upgrades.